So this is a young man, uh, well, he's 44, so I consider him young, uh, who has a history of total joint replacements in his family. His parents, his family has had total knees. And he didn't have a lot of pain, but he had a meniscus tear and he wanted to get checked out, and he's a runner. So this is unfortunately a meniscus tear that's in what's called the white, white zone. It's peripheral, and I'd love to be able to repair it, put a suture and anchor through here to bring this back and save it. The problem is it is so far away from the capsule where the blood supply is back here, it's not peripheral enough. And so to be able to repair that, I think the likelihood is that it'll, it'll fail. Very, very high likelihood it'll fail. So since it'll fail, the better thing to do is to trim this here and here before it gets larger, because otherwise it'll get larger and there'll be more to, more to repair, more to, excuse me, more to remove. So, sad, but... And then, you know, what's tough, uh, Tim, is he's gonna, you know, some would argue, but we just left this. But the problem is he does, he's not happy with his quality of life now. So it's like, okay, you wanna live like that and get the buck buckling and the symptom, symptomatology, or wait until you get the symptomatology? Yeah. But he did say to me, fix what you need to fix it immediately. started running who knows but now we get to tell him what what I would have told him if we trimmed it out or not I wouldn't rerun a marathon as far as we not with this thing whether you leave that four meniscus or remove or turn it out with small can you have a uh, up by it please straight up by it would be better to have this is where the uh, 3d printing is exciting because in a case like this it'd be wonderful if you could uh, trim the meniscus or put something else there in its place. Okay. But then you get a wonder if you deal with it. That's problem for sure. Okay, shave the last one right here. So, what happens? 
Thank you.